We urge the public to make a submission to the Select Committee. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, thank you, sir. I rise to uh, take a call on the taxation annual rates for 2017-18 Employment and Investment Income and Remedial Matters Bill. I want to um, just briefly uh, echo the sentiments by the colleagues across the House about a tax system that's robust, that's fit for purpose, uh, and it's also, um, uh, while very prescriptive, also agile to the ever-growing needs of uh, Aotearoa New Zealand. Sir, many of the members across the House have focused on um, different matters on this particular bill. I, sir, want to focus in particular uh, on the um, the fact that the bill proposes that payers of interest, dividends and taxable Māori authority distributions will be required to provide detailed recipient information to inland revenue on a monthly basis. Sir, it proposes a new um, a model uh, for the collection of information on the part of IRD. Uh, and, and I wonder, sir, with also the uh, introduction of the, the big changes to the Ture Whenua Māori Bill, um, which might seem quite separate to this, but um, all of those Māori authorities and Māori entities operate under that particular legislation. And when it comes time for um, Māori authorities to pay dividends, um, uh, to pay, make distributions to their beneficiaries, sir, um, there's always, uh, quite, it's always quite a difficult time for Māori entities. Um, I, for one, was, uh, have been an administrator on Māori entities, and, and, and besides the practical uh, challenges uh, in connecting with beneficiaries, um, just the mere fact of paying out a distribution is very hard. What we, do, what we know, so what I've experienced, sir, is that for every dollar that you pay, it costs almost an, another dollar, if not slightly more, in compliance, uh, not just for tax, but also administration purposes. And I wonder, Sue, when I look at this particular bill, um, one, of the, one of the parts of it is, it is it's asking for more frequent, uh, more comprehensive uh, information from Māori entities uh, to inland revenue on a monthly basis. And it also provides a provision that says uh, it's optional for those Māori entities in 2019, 1 April, um, but it will be compulsory the following year in 2020. So, with the big changes coming with Te Ture Whenua Māori uh, bill that's currently in front of the House, a lot of the challenges around compliance will be the fact that they'll need to be, have um, a better engagement with their beneficiaries. And while that might sound like an easy thing to do, sir, I can tell you as a land administrator for Māori Trust, it's actually very hard. And I wonder, sir, when we talk about a robust tax system, we, 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 always, we should always be careful about heaping so much compliance on um, entities such as, as Māori land trusts and others. Because, sir, one, first of all, their resources are limited. Secondly, their capacity is limited. And when we consider the task that's being asked of them um, through this particular bill, sir, of providing those monthly, regular um, uh, information uh, for IRD records, I understand the purposes for it. But I, I'd be interested to hear, as this bill progresses, um, sir, uh, input from the likes of FOMA, uh, the Federation of Māori Authorities, uh, the likes of some of the large Māori land trusts who actually do pay dividends to beneficiaries. Um, look, and here's an example of just how difficult it is. If you go onto the Ngāti Hene Forestry website and you look through the list of beneficiaries, you search a gentleman by the name of Penny Henare, and it'll come up with uh, some, some quite famous fellow from up north, but, but you'll, you'll, you'll find um, Penny Henare will come up and he'll be a large beneficiary. Then you'll have a look at that, that gentleman's birthday and you'll find that he was born in the early 1900s. So those records are actually very, very old. They're, they're, they're yeah, you know, I, 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 did, um, I did think about a vampire stint. But look, sir, the point is this, is it's actually, um, it's easier said than done in updating those types of, uh, that type of information. My namesake died in 1979, months before I was born, which is why I'm named after him, yet his shares are still there, and that information, I wonder how that might come across the desk uh, at IRD. But look, sir, just in conclusion, because I'm mindful of the time, um, look, there are a whole bunch of technical changes here. We, like the Green parties, will be looking at um, the employment share schemes a lot closer. We're looking forward to hearing some of the submissions on those. Um, once again, I'd encourage FOMA, 
uh, the Federation of Māori Authorities and other Māori land trusts to make sure that they make a submission on this, sir, but otherwise we support this particular bill and look forward to it going to the Select Committee. Simon O'Connor. I'm not sure how long that will last. The time oh. has come for me to leave the chair. For the dinner adjournment, the House will resume at 7.30.